I'm Melinda Elmore, Century 21 Masters in the Elmer team. Today I'm going to talk about when it might be a good idea to have negative cash flow. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters in the Elmer team. And you know, one of the questions I get frequently asked is, should I keep my property that I have as a rental long term? And or is it okay to have negative cash flow on a property? Now, this is really going to vary on an individual case by case basis. So if you are thinking about this for yourself, talk to me and let's figure it out. In a general sense, however, there's a couple of main criteria when we look at rental property. Now, as a general rule, I like to say to people that you really should be making at least $500 a month or it's not worth it because if you're not making $500 a month, then ultimately you're going to have negative cash flow. <clears throat> now, in some cases, negative cash flow could be okay if your long-term goal is to hold and own long-term real estate or if you need some significant tax write-offs and there's some upside potential in a property. Many times we see properties, especially if we're going to go purchase a brand new multifamily property and they have current tenants. Many times the rents are significantly below market when you first purchase them. And sometimes we can get a little bit of a deal on the price when those rents are below market and over the next couple of years, we can get them back up to market value. Or there may be some creative moves that we can make to get that income up faster. <clears throat> so we'll talk about each individual situation, of course, as it might apply to you. The big criteria, if you are gonna have negative cash flow on a property, is could you afford that payment? So if you're gonna have to subsidize the payment on that property, can you afford it along with your other expenses? And can you afford it if the entire property is vacant for a couple of months or the tenants stop paying? And if you can't, or if it's gonna cause you financial hardship, then that negative cash flow is probably not a good idea for you. But if you can't afford it long term, and in the next few years you can get that cash flow where it needs to be, then it may be a good idea to rent it out. If not, it might not be the best investment opportunity. If you have any questions about this, or if I may be able to help answer a specific property question for you, I'm happy to do so. Feel free to give me a call at 562-316-2915 or melinda at theelmerteam.com. Thank you so much for watching and make it a great day.